Hey guys, I'm so happy y'all are here today. Um, my name is Christina, and I'm still pretty new to YouTube, so I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and just join the community that we are building here. I'm so excited. Um, on this day, there was just kind of a lot of random cleaning. Um, for those of y'all who haven't watched any of my other videos yet, I am um, I'm a mom. I have two kids, um, my daughter Charlotte, my son William. They are both in school, but we also have a little foster baby. Um, he's about five and a half months old old now. His name is Baby C, um, is what we're going to call him on here. And he has a feeding tube. And on this day, he had pulled his feeding tube out. So my husband had to drive him um, to Children's, which is about an hour from where we live. So I had no kids at home at this time. And I was just kind of rushing to get as much as I possibly could done while I had no kids at home. So I would love it if you would just kind of clean along with me or just... Um, watch the video while you're relaxing or working out or whatever you like to do when you watch videos, but I'm excited and I'm so thankful that you're here. Okay, so this part of the video actually made me kind of giggle a little bit when I was watching it back. Um, as you see, I've taken some trash off the counter. I'm throwing it away. And it was actually um, some art, some artwork, as my daughter called it. Um, it was a coloring sheet, and she finds the most random coloring sheets. And she starts them, and then she gets busy. Um, we do dance and soccer and tumbling. We just have so much going on. She gets busy, and she never finishes them. But you can't throw them away because she's going to come back to it, even though she never does. So as I picked it up, I went to throw it away, and then I was like, oh, she's going to open up the trash can. I've been caught before <laughs> throwing stuff away that she wants. And so I just like lifted up some paper and threw it in there. But that's what I'm doing. And I'm sure if you were a mom, you have probably also done that. Um, so leave a comment if you have gotten caught, like, busted, throwing away something that your kid, you know, is prized possession to them. But it's just, it just needs to be in the trash. It's just, it's clutter. There's no room for it. As you can see on this day, I'm picking up um, a backpack and shoes and there's a soccer bag and the house was just destroyed. This was a Friday and on Thursdays we, um, we have cheer right after school and I coach my daughter's cheer team. So we go straight from school to cheer. We leave straight from cheer and run home and eat like sandwiches. We have like 20 minutes before we have to be back in the car, drop her off at dance. But then we take my son to soccer. He is doing soccer games right now. They don't finish until about eight o'clock. Then it's about time to pick my daughter up from dance. Um, I pick her up from dance. We come home. We have to do showers and homework and all the things. And Thursdays are just insane for us. It takes a lot of planning and a lot of organization. And um, it's just it's just a busy day. So usually on Fridays, um, where I would usually during the week make them pick up, you know, they're the dance bag, the soccer bag, and put it back where it goes. Thursdays are just a free-for-all Thursday night. So Fridays, I take the time to kind of clean up a little bit from the night before and get everything kind of back in, in order um, because it's just, it's just such a late night and they're little and we just don't have time for all that. So that's kind of what's going on right now. And the day before had also not only been a busy day with sports, but that day, um, baby C had had a cold and it was just nothing soothed him. I pulled out all the stops, all the, the swings, the bouncers, the toys, everything. And he just wanted to be held. And so I'm trying to work and clean and hold him. And it was just a day. Um, so I'm sure, you know, like I said, a lot of you are probably moms and you can probably relate, but it was just a day. You can also see my windows are just dirty. Um, we have two dogs, which I'm sure you will see in this video. Um, we have a black lab and she and 
She is 14 years old. We got her, um, my husband and I did back when we were still dating, I think like right, right before we got engaged. Um, and we've been married for almost 13 years. So she is just about 14 and she, bless her heart, she is old and she does not move very often. You'll see her laying in the same spot throughout so many videos. And then we have a German shepherd who is five, almost six. We got him when my son was little. Um, he had just been born. So they're about the same age and they just rub their noses on the window. My kids touched the window. They were just dirty and gross. And then we also have not just the window on that door, but the windows. Um, my German shepherd is tall enough to reach the bottom of them. So he constantly is opening up his, um, the curtains with his nose and touching the window. So it's just, it's just a mess. We clean them often. And then you can also see on the door, um, we do have this paper and it's not the most, um, aesthetic, like aesthetically pleasing view, but it is for baby C's oxygen. Um, we have to have them on both doors because if there's ever a fire in our house and the firemen are trying to get in, they have to know that there is oxygen in our house. Um, because obviously that would be a dangerous situation to walk into. So they're not very pretty, but it's just the stage that we're in right now. So we have those on the door as well. We're from a different time, yeah, we're of a different breed Cause what we got is timeless, we supersede And we're holding the key, yeah, we're tight as can be We're rolling, we're rolling, just like we please Ooh, getting caught in the midst of so many that never get out of Their feet in the fears and the doubts, ooh But we're golden, we run to the end and we run without shame we own the game And we ride on the flames till the morning light Baby, cause we're dynamite Ain't nobody gonna hold us down Break all the rules, let them run and hide Baby, cause we're dynamite Gonna let the world know We're can see in the background of this part of the video when I'm vacuuming that I actually have Amy Darley playing in the background on my TV. And that was probably the biggest motivation for this day because my husband left with baby C and he, um, you know, the house was quiet cause he was gone and I just wanted to sit on my couch. Y'all, I wanted to sit on my couch and not move and not think and not do anything because the house was quiet and I was tired and you know as moms we just don't really get a lot of time to just have to ourselves and the stage of life that we're in right now is just so chaotic with a special needs baby that i was just tired and i turned on the tv and i couldn't find anything to watch and youtube had notifications that i had something new and i just started watching amy darley and i think later on in the day I was watching um, Lauren Yarborough, but it was just the biggest motivation to just get up and get what I needed to done. So hopefully as you're watching my video, if you need some motivation, um, hopefully you're getting that from my videos because I know that there have been days where I just don't want to. And these women on YouTube are just not only motivating to get up and clean, but just, you know, listening to them talk. And it just kind of feels like you've got a friend and they're encouraging and I just love it. So I hope that you get that from me as well. Well, and I hope that if you have something that you need to get done, that I have motivated you a little bit.
while I was talking about Amy um, Darley's video in the background, I know you can see um, I'm vacuuming and usually River, my lab just kind of um, lays down and I just kind of vacuum around her because she's so old. I'm not going to make her get up. And for some reason on this day, I startled her. I felt so bad, y'all. She jumped up and I scared her and then she tried, started trying to get up. And lately she's really been struggling um, to get up, especially on our hardwood floors. Her back legs are just not as strong as they used to be. And so it's probably only a matter of time before um you know it's it's going to be time to probably put her down and we're just we're so devastated by that she's she's not in, in much pain now um you know we have some medication we give her but it's just it's going to be hard and so um i felt so bad when i startled her and then as you see me cleaning the closet you will see me pull out this enormous bag it's huge it's sparkly pink um that is my daughter's dance competition bag hill and it is almost as tall as she is and it holds all of her makeup and hair and shoes and costumes and all all the things but y'all it is so big and it is so heavy and there are competitions where we have to lug that thing up about four flights of stairs and the men aren't allowed to come because it's kind of close to where the dressing rooms are so i get my workout in um during dance competition season lugging that bag up and down flights of stairs it's it's a lot it's so big right here i'm actually trying to show um underneath the part of the um the island where my kids will often eat breakfast um and sometimes dinner if we're just like crazy night like on thursdays or things like that when we have um sports they'll just eat there really quickly and so there was a lot of like scuff marks from shoes and like i'm assuming food which is just disgusting um it didn't show up super awesome on camera but i promise it's there it was dirty i had to scrub it um and it just needed to be done and that's one of those things like you can't really see it a lot you don't really you know it's not something you look for but on this day because i had the time and i had no kids at home i was like i'm just gonna get under there and clean that it has driven me insane so I'm going to clean that and then I'm actually also going to show some marks on the wall so we moved into our house was a new house we did not build it but it was a new build um, so nobody's ever lived here before and the paint because we didn't build it we didn't choose it um, and it's I guess it's like flat paint um, I think is what my husband said and so it doesn't clean very well like it leaves um, if you'll you'll see in the hallway sometimes i scrubbed one wall with a magic eraser and i messed it up so i've got to paint over that so now i'm just very cautious like i really needed to clean like the fingerprints and stuff off but i've learned if i take a microfiber towel and just a little bit of my thieves cleaner or my mrs myers cleaner um i can get it off but i'm just so scared i'm gonna mess the walls up um before i can paint again but we're just kind of getting off some fingerprints and scuff marks and shoe marks and all the the signs that you have children You glance your everlasting light Met your eyes raise a sharp cut through the crowd I don't even want to know your name I just wanna keep you to myself Stay with me or leave me be I want you all to Okay, so this little corner of my room had just started to drive me insane um, last night, the night before, and I um, I knew that I needed to get it kind of cleaned up today when I made the bed. So I was cleaning up 
all the stuff that had gotten thrown into the bassinet. This is an extra bassinet we have. It's not the one baby C uses right now because it's just a little too big for him. Um, he's, he's pretty small. But my kids had just thrown all of their books that they had been reading the night before. Um, they had just thrown it into the bassinet. So I'm kind of pulling those out. And as I was pulling those out, I realized that um, my son is my big helper with diapers, throwing diapers away. He loves to help with baby C. He loves baby C. And our um, diaper genie is in our bedroom. And so he had been throwing away diapers. And I didn't realize, y'all, that he had been throwing them like it was it was um, full, I guess, or something. I don't, I don't really know exactly what had happened. But he had just been like shoving them in on top. And they weren't actually going into the diaper genie. And it wasn't closed. So thankfully, none of them had really smelled bad, but I just looked over and I was like, oh my, oh my gosh, oh no, um, it's overflowing. So I am cleaning those out now and I have shown him how to use it now um, because he does like to help, like I said, but um, yeah, I had to get those taken care of. So thankfully it had not smelled bad. dust before I vacuum, but um, the day that I am, was doing this cleaning in my bedroom, I had not vacuumed the day before because like I said, it was Thursday. Baby C had not wanted to be put down. We had sports. It was just a day. And um, so I actually vacuumed once and then dusted. And then later I do go back and vacuum again um, because like I said, I have a German shepherd, you've seen him and he sheds so much and I have to vacuum about twice a day, if not every day. So I um, can maintain the doll care. And even then, like I'll get so mad, I'll vacuum and then I'll look over and you'll just see doll care rolling across the ground like a tumbleweed in the desert it's so annoying um but i need to we need to get a um a robot vacuum but we just haven't done that yet um our last house the setup was just kind of awkward and the carpets and the stuff so we didn't have one but this one it's a lot of wood um so we really we need to get a, a robot vacuum and maybe we'll do that eventually but for now i'm just gonna keep vacuuming a lot but i do um like i said i dust and then i revacuum later so i just don't want you to think that i vacuumed first and then dusted because you know you always want to pick up all that dust you knock onto the floor and then right here at the end, I'm showing um, my duvet cover because we have a king size bed and I ordered this um, duvet cover and um, down comforter and they're both king size. And I think it said on Amazon that I ordered an oversized king size and y'all, it is too short. It drives me insane. It barely covers the mattress. It, I mean, it doesn't even completely cover the mattress and you can um you can see the sheets and then at night i'm constantly trying to pull the covers back from my husband because he steals them and then i steal them and there's just not enough covers so if you have any suggestions or if you can tell me what i did wrong um i would love that because i know i've seen in other videos where people have king size beds or it looks to be a king size and their sheets cover or their mattress or their blanket covers everything and my comforter does not so I need some help some tips anything that you got leave them in the comments for me and I just want to thank y'all so much for hanging out with me and watching this video um, I'm really looking forward to more content so if you would subscribe and hit the notification bell I can't wait to see you until the next time